All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, functional programming, use the reduce method to analyze data. All right. So array.prototype.reduce, or simply the reduce method, is the most general of all array operations in JavaScript, turns out. Uh, we can solve almost any array processing problem using the reduce method, all right? Uh, so the reduce method allows for more general forms of array processing, and it's possible to show that both filter and map can be derived as special applications of reduce, although we're not going to... <laughs> Uh, go over that, I guess. Well, I know because this is, I, anyway, whatever. Uh, the reduce method iterates over each item in an array and returns a single value, i.e. a string, a number, an object, or an array. Uh, this is achieved via a callback function that is called on each iteration. The callback function accepts four arguments. The first argument is known as the accumulator, all right, something new. Uh, which gets assigned the return value of the callback function from the previous iteration. Uh, and that basically means like, uh, what, what, what can we say? There's, there's really no good examples on here. I'm going to have to give you a, a, a custom example. I'll show you in a minute, right? Uh, the second is the current element. The third is the index and the fourth is the array. So it's basically this accumulator and then the uh, three that we've already had, the element, the index and the array, right? So in addition to the callback function, reduce has an additional parameter, which takes an initial value for the accumulator, right? So there's also an initial value in reduce. Uh, if the second parameter is not used, then the first iteration is skipped and the second iteration gets past the first element of the array as the accumulator. We'll go over that in a second because that's a terrible sentence, honestly. Uh, so we're going to look below at the example using reduce on the users array and return the sum of all the users age ages pardon me for simplicity the example only uses the first and second arguments all right so we've got the old uh what is it the the array of objects right here and what we're going to do here is const sum of ages and then we're having users dot reduce so users dot reduce and then we're doing sum so it's going to be this is the accumulator right here and then user is the uh, element. So these are the users. And then sum is going to be the the uh, sum of the ac accumulation of whatever we do. All right, I'll show you in a second. So we're going to do sum plus user dot age and then comma. And then this here is the initial value, which is zero. And then when we do console dot log sum of ages, it's going to be 64. Anyway, so as a first example of reduce, this is pretty horrible. Honestly, but what can we expect? We've been doing this for a while. Uh, so let me come down here and show you a much more easy to understand example, all right? So let's come down here and let's make an array. Let's uh, new array equal, and then we'll do uh, one, two, three, four, five, thusly, all right? And then we'll come down here and we'll say uh, new array. Let's, let's say uh, let summed, uh, let's sum elements like this equal. And so now this is going to be the sum of each one of these elements, which clearly is going to be 15, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, uh, 9 plus 3, 13, excuse me, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15, right? We know that. So what we're going to do here is say new array dot reduce. And what we're going to do here is first we're going to start with the accumulator. So we'll say sum right here. Uh, and then we're going to have the elements as well. So we'll just say uh, number like that. How about that? It looks good enough. So let's do this. And now we're just going to say sum plus number. All right. And when we come down here and say console.log sum elements, elements, elements. Okay, come on now. There we go. <laughs> Sum is not defined. Sum is not defined. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to wrap this thing up in parentheses because it is an arguments list. All right. So we see 15 right there. So basically, uh, it's starting with one. So let's just get all this out. Let's let's do it like this. So we'll start with one. So we've got one in there. All right. And since there's uh, since this is since we don't have the uh, what is this? 
the initial value. It just puts one as the sum to start off with, and then it goes to uh, two, all right? And then it'll go to, and so now it's added, adds the two to the one, it makes three. And so we add the three, and so it's now six. So the three that it was plus the three, which is six, and now we're gonna add to that six, four, which makes it 10. And then we're gonna add to that 10, five, which makes it 15. So this is the sum and each time, it's like a for loop that goes through and adds the number to it each time. So it's just like saying, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, new array at I plus equals one, right? Or plus plus whatever, or no, excuse me, plus equals the number. So it goes through and sums it up each time, right? And that's basically how this is the first example. Now let's bring this one over here to see how this one works because it's clearly different because it has this thing and it has to have this or it won't work, right? So let's get rid of this and let's bring this over. All right, drop that off here and you can see it's 64. So if we change this to 11, it's 65 and there we go. Uh, so the thing is, if we don't have this, right? If we don't have this initial value, which makes it zero plus user age, user dot age, so zero plus 34, and then 34 plus 20, which is 54, if we go like this, which is 54, and then uh, plus 10, which is 64, right? If we don't have this, it'll give us this, object, object, 2010, right? What's that mean? Well, as you can see, this is a lowercase object and this is an uppercase object. So this is saying the object is an object. So it's passing this object, which it is an object. So it's saying the object is an object. All right. If this was a number, it would be, th okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's saying it's an object that's an object. And then it, since these are, uh, since it's like this, it turns these into strings and concatenates them together. So now it's 20 plus 10, string 20 plus string 10, which is 2010. So that's not gonna work. That's why we have to have this initial value. And sometimes we need it, sometimes we don't. Uh, the more you use it, you, the more you'll know when you need to use it and when you don't, right? So there's that example of that one, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, that's pretty much as good as I can get to, for explaining that. So now let's go, let's keep going. We're going to go on to this even more confusing way, or let's say complex way. Uh, so in a number, in another example, we're going to see how an object can be returned containing the names of the users as properties with their ages and values, pardon me, ages as values. So we've got, <coughs> pardon me. So we've got this thing, we've got the old uh, uh, array with the objects in it. And now we're doing const user ob equals users dot reduced. And now we're doing object it's the same as the accumulator. It's the same as sum. It's always, this is always going to be the accumulator, the first thing in reduce. And then we've got user, which is also uh, the elements within users, right? And now instead of uh, having it just like this, where it's just a normal arrow function, we're going to do one of these object style functions right here. All right. So we're going to have object, obj, this thing dot user, pardon me, this thing at user dot name. So the object at user.name, which is this right here, okay? That's gonna be the, uh, we're creating a new object, which is user.name, and it's gonna equal user.h. So let's just bring it over here so I can show you what's going on. Uh, it's gonna display that, but let me show you. All right. And so we've got, uh, so when we do object, uh, at user.name, it's going to put the John, the Amy, and the camper cat in there, right? And then it's going to say equals user.age, so it equals this. So basically this is making, this is saying this, this property is this, this is creating the property, and then this is the name, this is the key of the property, and this is the value of the property, right? And then when we say return object, it returns this right here. So if we take these out of here, these two out of here, we'll have just John. And then if we just add them back, we have Amy and Camper Cat. Instead of name, uh, age, it just says John and 34 right there. So that's basically how we would, uh, I guess, make a, uh, 
what, how, what would we even say? We would just make it more concise, I guess, make the object more concise. So that's just another way to use uh, reduce, all right? So now let's get on to this part, all right? We've got the old movies uh, object again. So the variable watch list holds an array of objects with information on several movies. We're gonna use reduce to find the average IMDb rating of the movies directed by Christopher Nolan, all right? So we're gonna recall from previous challenges how to filter data and map over it to pull what we need. We may need to create other variables and return the average rating from get rating function, all right? And we're gonna note that the rating values are saved as strings in the objects and need to be converted into numbers before they're used in any mathematical operations. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do, we are gonna do this, the thing where we uh, create other variables. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna filter out the movies that have, uh, that are directed by old Chris Nolan here, right? So it's gonna be pretty much all of them except for Avatar right here because James Cameron did this one, right? Uh, so, we're gonna, and we'll start off down here uh, so because that way we can do console.logs to see what this stuff looks like. So we'll start off by saying, uh, let's say let uh, movie filter, movie filter equal. And then we'll do a uh, watch list. Hmm. Actually, let's, we're gonna change this from watch list. We'll change this later, uh, but we'll start off by saying watch list dot uh, read, no, excuse me, dot filter, all right? And as we remember, it's uh, this first thing we do is the element. So we'll have uh, movies like this. And we'll say uh, movies that are directed by James, no, excuse me, director. And that needs to equal, uh, who's the guy's name? Christopher Nolan, Chris, inside the string, Christopher Nolan. Right. So now we've done that. Let's do a console.log movies fil movie filter. Console.log movie filter. All right. So now we've got all of his movies and none of James Cameron's movies. All right. So we've got that one taken care of now. So now we're going to, uh, what's the next thing we're doing? We're going to map over it to get the, uh, to get what we need out of it. All right. So what we need are these ratings, right? Uh, where's the IMDb rating? Right here. What we need are these right here. So what we're gonna do is say, let ratings equal movie filter dot map. And we're gonna say here, uh, movies again, why not? And then we'll say here, uh, what should we say here? Movies at I am, excuse me, at IMDB rating like that. All right. So now let's do a console.log, console.log ratings. All right. So now we've got all these, but as you see, they're all strings. All right. So we'll, I'll show you what happens if we keep them strings uh, in just a second. All right. So we want, to, we want to add all these together using the reduce method. And we can just do it the simple way uh, that I showed you the first time. So we'll say, let, uh, let ratings sum, let's, let's sum rating, sum ratings equal. And then we'll do uh, ratings dot reduce. And then what we'll do here is we'll have the accumulator. So we'll have sum. And then we'll have the element, so we'll have uh, comma, oh yeah, and don't forget to put this in another uh, set of parentheses. We'll say ratings, rating like this, and then for the second one, no, excuse me, we'll say sum, and then we'll have a uh, rating like this. And then we'll have the uh, arrow function right here, and then we'll say uh, sum plus rating, all right? And so let's see what it looks like now. We'll put uh, some ratings in there. And so as you can see here, they've concatenated them all together, all right? So we need to somehow turn this into, somehow turn the ratings into numbers, right? 
So there's two ways we can do that. We can use the uh, number constructor, constructor JavaScript right here, which basically you just wrap the thing in parentheses, put number in front of it, and it turns it into a uh, number. So when called as a function, it returns the primitive values, values of type number, right? Or we can use the unary plus operator. And the unary plus operator precedes its operand and evaluates to its operand, but attempts to convert it to a number if it isn't already. So you just put a plus sign in front of it, and as long as it's not like a negative number, it'll turn it positive, right? It'll turn it into a positive number, all right? Uh, no, well, even if it is a negative number, it'll turn it into a positive number. So just don't use it on negative numbers. That's basically it. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we'll just do that. We can either put the number, we can either do like this. No, we can't do it like that. Uh, <laughs> We can't do it like that. I think it's because uh, we don't have the, we would have to have the uh, initial value if we were going to put the plus sign in front of this. And then it would do that. Uh, because if we do it like this, look, it just, uh, it keeps 8.8 .8 and it doesn't even do what we want, right? So forget that. So let's just put it in front of uh, the one in the map. That way it doesn't even, we don't have to do anything extra. All right, so we put the plus there and it does this, or we could do, if you feel like it, or if you think there's negatives in there, we could do this and number just to be safe, all right? So it depends on what you want. Uh, usually I do unary plus, but we'll do number because it's there and whatever, right? So now we've got this. So now we have to uh, just get an average of that. So we'll just come down here and we'll say let ratings, let average rating, average, rating equal and then we'll do some ratings and then we'll divide that by uh this right here this movie filter dot uh dot length all right because this is a a an array right so we'll just say right here we'll say movie filter dot length all right and when we get when we put this in there like that, we can see there's the average right there. So now what are we gonna do with this stuff? That's easy, we're just gonna cut, we're just gonna cut and paste it, right? So we'll cut this, uh, come up here, paste this, boom, just like that. And now let's change this watch list because what's the point of having the argument be the same as the name of the global variable? Let's just call it list and let's call this list right here. Come on now, list, there we go. And that should take care of business. Let's uh, let's get rid of this stuff because we already used it, and let's get rid of the uh, that stuff in front of there. And look at look at there. Looks like we got it done. Uh, let's give it a little more space, and you see that's uh, pretty much how this is done. Let's uh, run the test. Looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to use higher order functions map filter or reduce to solve a complex problem. And we'll see you next time.